towards the you know sixth or seventh game. I don't think we've even ever got it done in four or five. So uh, yeah. it it puts on a pretty good show, man. And I bet by now these guys are starting to figure out these maps because um, we didn't cast it for two weeks. So they have like two or three more weeks under their belt of trying to figure out these new maps and everything. So that should be pretty cool as well. Let me just adjust my settings really quick. I was trying to get a little bit of playing in, um, <clears throat> but I didn't leave the game, dude. We're making progress. Nice. So, all right, we're going to go. The scoreboard's going to be up, but it's going to reflect for the teams and not necessarily the players themselves. This is a best of seven. Uh, but our purple Terran player in the bottom right, left-hand corner of the map, uh, playing from Comfed, it is Honey Badger. And his Zerg opponent, uh, representing Formless Bear Sloss, the Red Zerg, Mr. Hyde. Uh, Confed changed up their logo, dude. I like it. The shield, uh, like, grew wings and shit. Whoa. Yeah, they it's doubled pretty, it up. Yeah, no, I really I know, like right? that. It adds, I don't know. Uh, it's just mirroring the other side, but I really like how they did that. Um, it's pretty cool, man. Pretty yeah. cool. Nice little subtle adjustment. Yep. Um, man, this is the map that we both really don't like. Yeah. Just because we'll of that see. choke point. Like, maybe there'll be some good games. And, like, honestly, as Taryn and somebody who likes to drop a lot, like, it does look like it has possibilities. But it's just so different from, like, any of the, the maps that are usually in the ladder pool. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen some Signitus play on this as well, too. So maybe we'll get some of that going now that we have a Zerg player in there as well. But... I don't. I guess I don't hate it. I just think it's really impossible to try to take a third base on. Like you might as well just get your two bases rolling and play this map off two base because that third is impossible, man. Yeah, it's really far out there. I guess there is that gold that you can take as a quick fourth if you somehow manage to to survive taking a third. But yeah, yeah I definitely feel you on that. Yep. Yeah, looks we'll like see, uh, we've had some good games on this though. It's not like they've all been cheese. We've had some macro games on this map already, so. Oh, yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Um, so it looks like from Honey Badger, at least, uh, I believe this is 3 Rex Reaper as we start to see the first Reapers being built now. I imagine we'll see a command center come down behind this. It's kind of the luxury of maps where uh, they have a smaller wall off and you can wall it off with racks. Um, you can 3 Rex Reaper and get an expansion. It's uh, not all in. Yeah, we'll have to see, man. Um, like you said, the wall is already out by the expansion, so at least they can take that if it fails or whatever, but... As you said, it is well underway. I'd imagine we're about to get that third. Yep, so it is full-blown. I mean, we knew it already, but that definitely com confirms it now that the third Reaper starts. Yep. Um, so the real question is going to be, when will Honey Badger, or sorry, Mr. Hyde find out about this? I don't think the Overlord has seen more than one just yet, right? Uh, I don't believe so, no. And he's coming in now. He's uh, going to see this. And when you see three racks, it's more than likely going to be, and, and when there's no add-ons on there, that's kind of the for sure tell. At that point, as a Zerg, I'd want to scout the natural. And we actually do see Honey Badger's SCV going down there to build it. So, uh, you know, it, it's kind of scary when you see three racks as a Zerg. But uh, if it's going to be Reaper, you literally can just walk this Overlord in. And, and I mean, there's nothing that can touch it. So. Yeah, absolutely. And he pulled it back a little bit. You could tell he was kind of hesitant. Uh, he didn't want some Marines to get it. But you're right, man. There's absolutely nothing to contest it. But I think he saw all he needed to see, really. I mean, he saw the first two barracks making Reapers. And now there's three in his base. So he knows uh, very well what's going on. Yep. So And uh, he's going to know by the number of Reapers that are now uh, getting in a little bit of a tussle with the Queens here, clearing out a couple of the Lings that would be nice. Really, uh, the three racks Reaper, it's great to build up the numbers. The, the two main goals are don't lose any and try and force out as many Lings as you can. Yeah, the drones are kind of a, a secondary thing, you know, and especially with speed now, it's going to be a lot harder. Yeah, and I was wondering if he was going to drop a Roach Warren. Some players will immediately try to go into Roach Tech. Some players will fight it out with Lings. It's, it, you know, it's entirely possible to fight off with Lings, but... I was kind of wondering how he's going to choose to do it. It looks for now like he will just go with lings. No upgrades either, just regular ass lings, man. Yep, yep. And this is kind of why I personally like the ling response to it, um, is because roaches wouldn't be able to engage. You know, they'd be able to, like, fight the reapers, but... Oh, man, and now we see a little bit of yeah. mismicer here. Too many lings going down, and the uh, reapers do survive, unfortunately. Yeah, those were some really good grenades. Got off a lot of them at the same time, and now he, he got a <laughs> yeah. lot of those links. So there's six more coming out. With these queens, he should be able to hold, but that already did, you know, significant amounts of damage, I'd say. So. Absolutely. And behind man. this. Been... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, behind this, as you said, he dropped his natural very safely. So it's not it, like he's it completely out of the game. Would have been nice to pick up a couple of uh, Reapers there with those Lings, but unfortunately, because of the ledges and, like you said, the grenades, uh, a lot of Lings went down there and needing to be rebuilt to fight this number of Reapers here. So it's these, I mean, these are drones that you would want, you know? Yep. 
And he did drop a Roach Warren, so maybe he's going to try to tech into Roaches instead. Um, he's got a lot of gas, so I was kind of wondering where he was going with that, as well as his layer pretty early. Uh, but yeah, it looks like Roaches as well. Oh, shit. Oh, the Nidus, Yeah, dude. the Nidus is down. I love that play, though, because this map, dude, there's such a huge area uh, back here in the main to drop it under. I bet you that's where he's going to hit with it. But that's a really good play, man, especially when you're really contained like this with those Reapers. It's gonna or It's going to be really hard to get out and, you know, do any damage, so... Absolutely, man. And those Reapers are good, but uh, they are across the map. This Nidus will come in, and there is not too much at home. I mean, there's a couple of Marines. Stim is way under halfway done. We see, I believe, a reactor and starport going down now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so not it's enough. pretty standard issue bio going on back at home, but is there going to be enough to stop what's coming out of the Nidus? Not enough to deal with these roaches, man. That's 13 Nidus. He dropped it right in the natural, completely Ooh. not where I thought it was going to go. Uh, but as long as it doesn't get picked off immediately, he should be all right. If he sends his queens in and starts getting that creep spread, he'll be fine. But I thought he was going to do it near the main and not near the natural. Not that I'm questioning his play, you know, but I just figured it would be uh, in the unscouted position back there. Oh, so shit. we'll have to see. The Nidus does go down now and a couple of roaches to be out. I got to say, man, I'm not sure that I like that positioning of the Nidus. Obviously, we have full vision on the map and know that that back area was uncontested and he does not. Yeah. But oh, he's still, gonna do it man. Again. He's going to do it again in the same spot. No. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Maybe a couple more queens. He's feeling, oh, if you could transfuse it or something. But yeah, that's just never going to happen, dude. That bio is too strong. I think he should have dropped it back here in the main. But as you said, I mean, we have full vision of the entire map. So. Yep, absolutely, man. Um, so these Reapers are going to get cleaned up across the map. So a little bit of a saving grace there for Mr. Hyde yeah. as the, the threat of those is, is no longer. Oh, okay, okay. We got our wish. There we so go. it's but gonna be scouted, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little late now, but shit, he might be able to get a little bit more damage done with this. Uh, as the Marines are gonna take a little bit longer to get over there, maybe a couple queens can pop out, and if you can transfuse it and give it some creep spread, you know, it usually holds a lot better. Oh, the queens are out, man. This one I think is gonna go over a hell of a lot better than the one before. Absolutely, man. This is definitely what you want to do. Um, so he does get a bunch of units in here now. SCVs are pulled off the line. They're going to come back, try and give it a go with fighting in the Marines in front of them. Yeah, that's going to be Marines, actually going to get surrounded and picked Okay, here we here, go. Reinforced Marines needed that, yeah. Good kind of use as well, man. Starting to look pretty favored for our third player here, Mr. Hyde. Oh, yeah. And uh, we didn't load with Gameheart. We'll have to tell him for next time to create with Gameheart. But that was the whole mineral uh, line worth of SCVs that went down. So just like that, Mr. Hyde will take it with a pretty sick Nidus, man. That's yeah, the second dude. time we've seen a Nidus.